started being a sin Christ is his understanding of who a man is. And I'll stop there. Is the understanding of Christ as far as human beings are concerned. John 2 verse number 23. John 2 verse number 23. Now that's good. I feel like T.D. Jakes. Amen. John 2 23 says this 22, 23, 24, 25 now. When Jesus was in Jerusalem at the Passover during the feast, many believed in his name when they saw the signs that he did. Notice Look at scripture slowly. They believed in him not because of who he was. They believed in him because of what he did. I will make a statement this night. It is impossible to mature in God through miracles. It is impossible. God is not English that trouble shows the way. No. No. Because they saw the mighty things that Jesus did. They believed in him. Now I expected that Jesus should have started a ministry right there. And called it believers in signs and wonders ministries. Look at verse number 24. They have believed in him. Verse number 24. Jesus did not commit himself to them. In other words, they're saying, I want him no man. Jesus is like, uh-uh. He's going. They're like, um, the makona madarao. They're like, when him no man. In chapter number two, umetan magic akwa divide. Then umeponya umjama. Hey, webe ni munoma. Weni munoma. Jesus did not commit himself to them because he knew all men. Verse number 25, it says that he had no need for anyone to tell him about man. Why? He knew everything that was in man. He's a child of God. You will never say that you have matured as a believer. Kama haujui kuhando wanadamu. Human beings. In Matthew chapter number 10, verse number 7. Matthew chapter number 10, verse number 7. Jesus is telling the people that as you go preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Verse number 8. He tells them, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. Cast out demons. Freely you have received. Uh, freely you need to give. Keep reading. He tells them, provide neither gold, nor silver, nor copper in your money belts. Keep reading. He tells them, do not even the bags, the tunics. He, he tells them, the worker is worthy of his food. Keep reading. He tells them now, whatever city, these are instructions. Whatever city you enter, inquire who is in it is worthy. Stay with that person. The scripture. And when you go to any house, you know, greet and say, let the peace, you know, let the peace enter into this place. Verse number 14. If they don't re receive you, let the peace return to you. Whoever will not receive you or hear your words, when you depart from that house, dust off from your feet. Keep reading. As surely I said to you, it will be more tolerable for Sodom and Gomorrah during the day of judgment than for that city. Now he tells them, behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of who? Who are the wolves? Hey. Who are the wolves? And don't tell me wolves ni boy her. When that your boy her, boy and the box. He says, I send you out a sheep in the midst of wolves. He says, therefore be wise as serpents. Be harmless as doves. Look at verse number 17. But beware of who? He's giving instructions from verse number 7. And the instructions we read, they are nice. You go to a house, greet that house and make the peace of God. They will come into your house and say, shalom. If you return and say shalom, then they could stay with you and do ministry with you. So Jesus is telling you, don't even carry bars. A worker is worthy of his food, Matthew 10, 10. They, you know, as you go for ministry, ministry will provide for you. Then he gets to verse number 16. He tells them, this is the only condition that I'm giving you. Be of wolves, man, because there are people who have the human body, but they have the character of a wolf. I have said this before and I will say it right now. Most of your fair days will come from a man. And most of your sad days will come from a man. Most of the days where you can write a composition, the day I will not forget is something about me. And the day you will write a composition, the hell I will never forget. That hell is another man. So you have not matured in your Christianity if you have not learned how to deal with men. Amen. Oh, Najua, my heart is an open door. Anyone can come in. My sister, some of them are wolves. 
And the work of a wolf, if, if you keep reading, you'll find that wolves come of large. And that is why they will say that they come to us as wolves in what? In sheep's clothing. As people who are hypocrites. Those who, that's who wolves are. That a wolf can be confused for a sheep because in the inside it is a wolf, but on the out. Hey friend, I'm hoping Bados Elisha will take your Facebook. I'm hoping Bados Elisha. This is what we must deal with. One of the major things that Jesus dealt with, as far as the Pharisees were concerned, is hypocrisy. They knew the law. In John chapter number 5, verse number 39, he tells them, man, you read the law. How come you don't understand who I am? You seek from the scriptures. But the scriptures talk about me. How come you do not know me? So he says, as you go, I send you out a sheep. But there are men outside there who are hypocrites. And this is how we give back to children. This is how we lose our businesses. You meet with this guy, you meet with this guy, and you're like, oh my gosh. By the time you say, oh my gosh. You've been taken through a hell of a ride. Why? You didn't have the discerning spirit to know. This is not a sheep. This is a wolf. And the most painful thing is that some of them are in charge. Amen. There are some of the people that will assassinate your character. They're in charge. Some of the people that will speak against your newly started business. They're in charge. Some of the people that you got married. And they are saying, God, they are not drunk. They are speaking in tongues. In church. Jesus told them, I send you out as sheep among us the wolves. Verse number 17, he tells them, and, and I always read this, and it makes me to really be afraid. He says, beware of men. Have you not read? When Micah will tell us that a man's own enemies will even be members of his own family. Beware of men. Just because we are born from the same womb doesn't mean that we agree in everything. Just because we belong to the same clan doesn't mean that I will tell you everything. Now, I will preach like my, my village preacher. Joseph told his dream to his family members. And they sold him out. Yusufu Haku, Haku, Haku betrayer. Now outsiders, as brothers he had eaten with, they had come from the same loins of Jacob. Even though they came from different wombs, but they came from the loins of Jacob, all of them. But they betrayed him. I find it un unacceptable when they are saying, let us kill him. Seriously? That let us kill our own brother. It is only that now the first one says, man, I don't think killing is the right thing. And right in, at that moment, they realize that there is an empty pit. He says, let's throw him in the pit. Let him die there in the pit. But let's, let, let's not kill him with our hand. And things were happening in quick succession. They want to kill him. They realize there's a pit. They throw him in the pit. They realize, ah, the Midianites are coming. Let's, let's sell him. Amen. His own brothers, three things, they are killing him. Three, two, the second thing, they are throwing him in a pit. And read your Bible. So the Bible says, at that time, the pit did not have water. So normally in a Kwagana match, so they wanted him to drown. But at that moment, they realized, hey, these guys who merchandise from here to Egypt, they are coming and they, let's sell him as a slave. His own brother sold him as a slave. You have not matured as a believer. If you don't have a gauge in you that discerns the intent of human heart. Look at Jeremiah 17. The verse that Moe loved. Verse number 10. This was President Moe's verse. He says, The eye of the Lord search the heart. I test the mind. Even to give every man according to his ways. According to the fruit of his doings. You read from verse number 7. And it will tell you that the heart of a man is wickedly deceitful. Amen. That the heart is deceitful above all things. So you must have something in you that tests the heart of men. Amen. 
No, you need to ask yourself, why is it that this musician lady, when she went to the U.S. to get married, she got married during the day and divorced by evening? She was only married for some hours. She got married, then the reception, then when they finished the reception, she finished with the wedding. At least she had the best part of the pictures, if she needed them. That the heart of a man is wickedly deceitful, he says, and is desperately wicked. Who can know this heart of a man? Just because we're in the same classroom with you, it doesn't mean that we'll end up married. I need to know your heart. Just because I do business with you, niko kwa shop ya mpesa, no nakujanga kuwithdraw ata zigine za vako tu hautaki, ni mimi u... Si pese na kuletaka ni mimi. No! Above and beyond the business that you're giving me, I want to know how is your heart. This is what saved Jesus. He knew what was in the heart of men. When he addresses the Pharisees in Matthew chapter number 23, almost the entire chapter, he looks at them and he calls them names. He calls them whitewashed tubes. Kaburi ya mazo zimepak waragi ya white. Choka. Hiyo ni matusi. Uneza jaita mutu kaburi. Sefadali uke waita mifupa kama ide Ezekiel 37. At least apo hiyo yiko na kimaandiko. Ana waita kaburi ya mazo zimepak wa choka ya white. Because he knew what was in their heart. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Some of us are crying only because you are not careful with man. Amen. Some of us have lost because you're not careful with man. Listen, child of God, just because someone lives their heart in the, in the service does not mean that their hearts have known the Lord. Some people lifting their hearts as a business the business what? Not idea. It's a business plan. God bless you. No, no, by a microphone. It's a business strategy. It's not what it's the one I was looking for. Some of the people when they pray in church and they are jumping, it's a business strategy. When mutu mwenye na obanga kiruka ruka kuja kwa biya dad. Baba amesema unipatie na shiriki miambini. Utakata? Ah, na kiruka ruka abie baba. It's a business strategy because we are more drawn to what we see on the outward than what is in the inside. So you have no matured as a believer if you cannot put the hearts of men on a weighing scale. Amen. First John chapter number four. Read from verse number one. John will tell them this. He says, beloved, do not believe every heart. Do not believe every spirit. But test the spirit, whether they are of God. Because many false prophets, they have gone in the world. Test ye the spirit. It's amazing how these false prophets, even in churches, they will come and they will sell to you even when akuziek and asema ibada ya jumapili. Hila mutu anakuja na kitamba. Nitaziombea, nitazibariki. Alafu kena na yo kitamba, wekelea pahali kuna shida. Kama uzai, wekelea kwa tumbo. Kama hauna pesa, wekelea kwa mfuko. Kitamba, inikuja ikiwa. Nikuwa kwa mfuko, ikiwa ya kunisaidia, ikinisaidia, nikiwa nae. Sinikuja ikiwa kwa mfuko. Ya kukikia, ikinisaidia, nita utaenda, utawekelea kwa shamba, uneza zika kwa shamba, na itanza kutoa mazao. Do you know some of the miracles by the time they happen, even if they don't happen, the time is so much spent, you cannot even argue. So listen. If there is anything that God must give you, is that God must give you the ability to discern the hearts of men. Amen. Even when people lift their hands, and the kama wanaombaga, wamelala chini kifudi food, you can be able to tell, ini roho ya nyoka hii. This is no seriousness in prayer. In the roho ya kutamba kama nyoka. I'm only saying, stop being excited with the externals. The reality of a man is not the external, it's the inside. That is why God says that the heart of a man is so wicked that it is desperately wicked. Who can figure it out? The heart of a man is wicked. 
The heart of a man is wicked. There are people that are laughing with you, but they are planning for your downfall. But the problem is you cannot see it. You can design it. 